history buffs and animal lovers, today's Animals in History episode is looking at a much-loved breed that embodies canine resilience and had multifaceted roles in the First and Second World War. This is the story of the Airedale Terrier and the man that envisaged their potential for warfare. Lieutenant Colonel Edwin Hortonville Richardson lived on a farm in Scotland and was a dog lover. He had a keen interest in dog training and he had noted how countries including France and Germany were training dogs to carry out military tasks from as early as 1895. Richardson lived on a farm that was located near an army camp and soon the officers were really interested in his work and the dog training skills that he and Blanche, his wife, had. They invited him to experiment with his dogs at the camp and this was in the midst of the tensions gathering which would then lead to the First World War. Richardson and his wife Blanche were asked to set up the British War Dogs Training School and they relocated from Scotland to Essex and it was here that they trained hundreds of dogs for war work. This included the Airedale Terrier that originated from Yorkshire's Air Valley. These dogs were taught to wear gas masks, carry pigeons and much more. And it was the outbreak of World War I that provided the first true test for Richardson's Airedales. These dogs braved the treacherous terrains of the Western Front, serving as messengers. Their agility and keen interest of direction made them the ideal candidates for navigating maze-like trenches, often under heavy artillery fire. This was to deliver crucial information. Now beyond that sort of communication work, they would alert troops to approaching threats, guard prisoner of war camps, and they were used in search and rescue missions, and often by the Red Cross to carry first aid and supplies to soldiers on the front line. Their legacy that was established in First World War went on to see their involvement in the Second World War. And this included a story of Jack, the Airedale who came to the rescue of his battalion when they found themselves totally cut off and surrounded by shell holes and barbed wire. The soldiers were desperate and they needed reinforcements. No man could get through that environment. Their one chance was Jack. A piece of shrapnel smashed into Jack's jaw, yet he carried on navigating through the battlefield while that he was under fire and a shell tore open his coat from top to bottom. His front paw was eventually shattered and he still navigated on three kilometers on to the headquarters, finally delivering his message, which saved his battalion. It's believed over 10,000 Airedales were involved in the First World War and their efforts continued on into the next. To commemorate their special role during the wars, in 2019 a sculpture of Airedale Terrier dogs was unveiled in East Haven, where Lieutenant Colonel Edward Richardson had first trained the dogs and had convinced the British government that they were an outstanding breed for military use. The Airedale Terrier's journey from the Yorkshire Elm Valley to the battlefields of the First and Second World Wars amplifies their enduring bond between humans and their canine companions. Their bravery intertwined with Richardson's vision remains a reminder of their loyalty and courage. Thank you to Helen, Drew and Paddy for their suggestion for this episode and to my neighbour who has power jet washed his patio throughout this video.